good? This is Zach here back with another video. And as y'all can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to give y'all a little insight, a little bit of uh, insider information on how I started my dreads, you know, with two strand twists. And uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because on one of my other videos, I got a comment and somebody was asking me how I started my dreads with two strand twists. So uh, I figured that I might as well go a little bit into depth. Uh, death? Go into depth about how I really started my hair and the process that I went to or products I used and basically just like how to start your hair from two strand twists and get them to lock up real nice. Let's just hop right into this video and like, comment, subscribe and well, uh, let's get into it. And I'm just trying to count up the cake, just trying to scoot off in the race. Fuck niggas stay in your place, yeah, 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 yeah. Me and my niggas don't play, you hate on my drip every day, but I'm still gonna make a way, yeah, yeah. Alright, so the first thing y'all really need to know about my hair is that I, that my hair is a 4C hair texture and if y'all don't know what that means, I'm probably gonna like, I might, not promising, probably not, but I'm gonna put like a chart right here of different hair textures and depending on the texture of your hair, it's gonna tell you whether or not you can actually use this method to get some dreads because uh, I know that if someone has like a 1 or 2 type curl type it might not work that well maybe even like a 3a wouldn't work that well but like i feel like if you have a 3b hair texture and above you you could probably lock your hair up using two strand twists my hair is 4c which is like the coarsest of them all so my shit locked up pretty quickly and pretty easily probably i'll have the question of like when you'll stop being able to see the two strand twists in your hair and honestly speaking that kind of depends on you and how you take care of your hair personally i was pretty not rough but like i didn't i neg not, not neglected my hair but i kind of just like said fuck it i'm gonna let these hoes lock up and i'm not gonna fuck with them too much and within like two to th like probably more like three months you couldn't really see the two strand twists in my hair like at all and like if you look right now uh like you can't really see the two strand twists anywhere in my hair it's fully locked at the tip and mind you i haven't done no type of trimming throughout my dread journey like i haven't trimmed shit in my hair and i don't think i really plan on it but like once my hair gets like right here i might start i might start trimming it because i'm not i'm not a back length dread nigga I, I don't think i want that for your hair to stop showing two strand twists you gotta stop fucking with it a lot of y'all like to keep your hands in your hair and fuck with it and twist it and un and take a lot of y'all take out the two strand twists and put them back you're not supposed to do that what you need to be doing is letting these two strand twists that you have in the initial two strand twists dread up and become their own individual dreadlocks you don't take out two strand twists at any point if you just leave them in and be patient if you're not patient you can't do this method if you're not patient you can't get dreads at all if i'm being honest i only really use two or three products uh first of all y'all know i use aloe vera gel i'll link a video up above of like the first time i ever retwisted my hair with aloe vera gel and that's also a good reference for y'all to see what my hair started off like uh, like I said, probably be somewhere over here. I use aloe vera gel to retwist my hair, and the only other products I use is oils, just because like I don't like to put hella shit in my hair, because I know my hair at least is prone to getting build up pretty easily if I put thick shit in it. Pause. The only things I use now is wild growth, and uh, I use the light oil, just because like if I don't use the light oil, this is so not focusing, whatever. It's the light oil, and if I don't use the light oil, I know I'm gonna get hella build up in my hair because the other wild growth is crazy stupid thick for no reason only other thing i use is olive oil and sometimes coconut oil and i'll, I'll tell y'all really i use the wild growth oil for oh shit hold up i basically just use the wild girl oil for uh my scalp just because like that shit that shit low-key i think that wild growth oil actually makes your hair grow faster if you use it like on a consistent basis, I might oil my scalp every other day just because it's winter time. In the summertime, you don't need to do all that. Summertime, I damn near didn't really oil my scalp, which might have been a bad thing, but I sweat a lot. So my scalp just produces its own like natural oils and shit. And this olive oil I use on like the length of my dread, like, like the dread itself. And I know a lot of people say I don't do that, but I'm not gonna lie, man. I personally am not a fan of crunchy dreadlock. And basically what I notice is if I don't oil my dreads itself, like my hair becomes dry and brittle. And I know personally, I like when people play with my dreads and nobody wants to play with some crunchy ass dreadlocks. So if you want people to play with your hair, I recommend that you oil your locks themselves. And as you can see, I don't really have like build up like that. So obviously it's not doing too much bad to my hair. And I just oiled it before this video. So that's why there might be like hella shine and shit. I think my hair is like, 
pretty damn healthy, if I say so myself. And even if it wasn't, I'm not gonna lie, I looked good, so I don't really care. But that is basically all I do to maintain my dreads. And I don't know what I'm entitled to, so I don't know if this is a dreadlock update because I did just hit 10 months. This is 10 months of locking it. And I started, my hair started like way up here. So 10 months is, is a long ass way. I'm almost at a year and I'm extremely happy with the results of my dread. So for me to get more in depth into how I started my hair, I kind of have to show you how to two strand twist hair. Basically you get hair, you put it one over the other and you just keep going like this basically. You just keep doing that. But a lot of y'all I know have questions on how you parted and shit and I'm gonna just go ahead and like, basically show y'all how I parted my hair so first thing I did was start with a middle part I parted it all the way down so basically you just grab a comb and you rake hair all the way down but obviously you know you'd have an afro so it'd be a lot easier but you rake it down the middle part it up so that there's a middle part make a box so what I did for this dreadlock was I made a box as y'all can see this part is pretty square shaped and our parts aren't perfect just because obviously I did them hose by myself but I think they're pretty damn close. And not to mention, I've had my hair retwisted professionally before, so they're not perfect, they're damn near at this point. But after that, I just basically pretend like this is one box. If this was loose hair, you get, uh, you get the hair, you put it one over the other, and just continue to do that all the way to the bottom of the dreadlock. And I'm kind of fast with it now, in case y'all haven't noticed. The nigga, the nigga been two stranded for a minute, so I'm nigga a little quick with it. But you'll get to this point where your hair is in one two strand twist, and all you gotta do from that point on is not touch your hair. Literally, all you gotta do from that point on is to just not touch your hair, not do shit. And if I was to leave my hair like this, believe it or not, that would become a dreadlock. In like a year, this would just be a stupid thick dread. That's how I started my hair. I started with the two strand twist method. And as y'all can see, it worked out pretty damn well for me. And uh, hopefully it does for y'all too. I really hope that y'all embark on this journey because I feel like I've learned so much as a person and not just like growing with my hair from growing some dreads. And uh, I hope y'all can experience that too. Y'all let me know if y'all have any other questions for me and shit, like how many dreads I have. I might do a whole counting my dreads video if y'all really want it. I think I got like 60, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Some of them, I don't know. I haven't counted my dreads in a minute. So if y'all want to see that, go ahead and comment it down below. Or I might put a poll. We'll see. But if y'all have any other questions or comments,